George Cromack here from RenewYourself.net, medical assistant to Dr. Cousins at the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center, um, and continuing on our discussion from post questions coming in from viewers. Uh, this 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 thing you're going to see coming up more and more. Dr. Cousins and I are putting together a new program that um, integrates some of these concepts into it. Um, I've been Dr. Cousins strength training uh, coach for the last four months and um, I've watched him put on about six to seven pounds of muscle and uh, dramatically increase his strength training really um, each body part once a week. We're actually doing the whole training pretty much in once a week now and um, it's economy of effort maximum return. If you're one of these persons that loses weight easel, easily or are losing weight, um, you know, especially the men. Um, we talked a little bit about the strength training. We'll get into that more. Um, I have other videos. If you want some personalized coaching, um, I do Skype consults. But uh, in terms of the questions coming up and other options, and, and the question was also about what what about the other bodybuilding, um, you know, protein drinks. Um, you know, the commercial bodybuilding protein drinks, um, a lot of them have a lot of stuff in there that I probably wouldn't recommend putting in your, in your body. Although I've seen um, people make some, you know, amazing gains using some of these products. And some of them are, we are using and some we aren't. Um, the protein drinks, um, again, I'm for the highest quality, highest absorption rate, so the less... The higher assimilation rate and the less residue and work your body has to do to get the nutrients, um, that's a key, one key point in trying to get, you know, a large percentage of your protein from the E3 Live um, and maybe spirulina. Um, hemp seed, you know, hemp seed has a pretty high assimilation rate. Um, not nothing like the E3 Live, but you could. Um, I think it's a little bit, you know, it's cost effective, and you can add a little bit more protein with the hemp. Um, questions, you, you know, on other other protein sources. I mean, whey powder. Um, you know, I've seen people do some good things with whey powder, although it's not vegan and. You know, it's not something I'm, I'm necessarily recommending as your, as your ultimate source of protein. Um, you know, a lot of other people, a lot of these other vegan protein drinks are depending on somewhat on, um, you know, nuts and seeds for um, the protein source. And other than the hemp seed, um, I think a lot of it's very difficult to digest, so I don't recommend you getting large portions of your protein from that, although I do recommend um, supplementing with glutamine powder, which is 40% of your muscle, um, creatine, HCL, and branch chain amino acids um, every day, and especially within 40 minutes after your strength training routine. And um, we'll get into that more. I'll be adding those products to my site. Um, I've been using them with a lot of the uh, guests coming through the tree. They're doing uh, their strength training program with me, having me set it up for them. Um, and myself, and we've been getting really great results. Uh, very interestingly, uh, I had about mm, over a 30-day layoff from strength training and uh, went back a couple of days ago and actually went up in strength pretty dramatically on on several exercises and the other ones were pretty close to my you know my peak um, you know over the last several months so that was really interesting and I think some of that has to do with the supplementation um, you know so with guys basically you need to get enough protein and you need to get that in within 40 minutes 45 minutes after finishing the strength training, you need to not overtrain. Um, you need to switch to a program, but you need to know how to get that intensity, and we'll talk about that um, on other tapes. You need to not overdo the cardio, 
and um, you need to get enough rest because a lot of you are basically overtraining and burning too many calories. You also need to get enough calories in that your body's not just you know burning up the protein for calories and it can use those for protein synthesis. So if you're in a big calorie deficit, even with the protein, it's going to be hard to gain weight and gain um, lean muscle mass. So you know, cut back the calorie expenditure on the cardio, cut back the volume, but increase the intensity of the strength training. You need to be getting up to, you know, like four tablespoons of E3 Live a day, um, probably plus some, maybe a little bit of hemp seed in there, and um, bee pollen if you tolerate it, a little bit of pure synergy, um, and preferably then a second dose of the E3 Live. So, you know, this whole idea of like three or four caps a day, you know, it just, it's, it's, it's not much um, in the bigger scheme of things. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at drgeorgecromack at hotmail.com. Um, the other area we're going to explore for, uh, especially for the men, but we'll also get into the female version of this, is, you know, guys going into the late 40s, 50s, and then trying to get a grip on what's going on with your blood panel and uh, your hormone profile, which greatly influences um, the way your body's going to respond respond to strength training. Um, that's Dr. George Cromack. Please feel free to email me if any of you are, uh, you know, considering ordering E3 Live from my website. You can use the coupon code SIR for anything on there for a uh, additional $10 discount. And aloha.